Alrighty. I kind of don't like this camera angle. I have to bend down or look down. See, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I apologize again. I'm not used to doing this. It's actually slightly uncomfortable, but I'm really interested in educating people about this new way of eating and educating people about a plant-based diet in general and how beneficial it is because there's so much malarkey out there you know and i need to combat that stuff but um nonetheless i'm going to show you everything i eat today um on a raw to four high carb low fat plant-based vegan diet or vegan plant-based diet i'm starting off with a liter of water i drink a liter of water every morning every morning it gets you off to a good start so and it feels so good to be hydrated okay like that's that's a huge tip make sure you get a lot of water in the morning and between meals so you're gonna see me drink more water between meals and i will show that um i may i will take my vitamin d it's winter time well it's fall but practically winter at this point um and I don't get adequate sun exposure, so I take vitamin D. Um, and then I may take a B12. Um, I don't take it every day. I feel like it's unnecessary to take it every day. But, um, um, yeah. So, I will show you what my breakfast looks like. I just wanted to show you guys. Look how foggy it is outside. Whew. Wow. Ooh. All right, so I have 14 medjool dates and eight bari dates in there, as you can see, for my date read. Now I'm gonna fill it up with water and blend. This is my Daterade. I gotta mix it up though. This is probably around, hmm, maybe 900 calories based off of past Daterades. I would say this is probably 900 calories. Could be more, but I'll just say 900. I'd rather underestimate than overestimate. Okay, it is brighter, and I always have to... I can never find a good angle, but anyway, let's just keep it here. And I want to stop looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> anyway, um, so I didn't finish my Daterade completely. I have that amount left. Um, I'm trying to drink as much as I can before I go. I have to go out, meet my mom somewhere. And then we'll probably go to Costco and pick up a few things maybe like tomatoes I might pick up some more kiwi maybe bananas i'm not sure i already bought quite a bit of bananas but there's a lot of us that are eating bananas so they go pretty fast um so yeah i don't think maybe frozen vegetables i don't know i know we want to get like fresh produce more than likely um and i think that's it I know there's something else I want to get, but I probably am going to forget because I didn't write it down. So, uh, so yeah. So, I'm going to go out, and when I get back home, I will show you guys what I'm eating for lunch. Alright. Hello. I'm back home. And I'm actually really hungry right now. I'm not starving to death, but I'm feeling the hunger come on. So I'm kind of upset a little bit because I did make lunch and I'll show you, but I'm upset because I didn't finish my water. But guess what? I'm going to finish my liter before I eat this meal because I'm determined to get my water in. Even if I have to eat right after I drink it, got to get that liter in. So this would be my second liter. I drank a little bit of it, like not even close to half, but I drank a little bit of it while I was out and about. I didn't want to drink it all and then need to go to the bathroom and we're just doing all trying to run errands and all that kind of stuff so now i'm back home let me show you my lunch all right so this is my lunch this i wrote it down let's see 
So I have some red grapes here. These are Wegmans red grapes, organic red grapes. These are actually really good. They're actually pretty good. Um, I weighed this so I can get an accurate um, calorie uh, count on this. And um, it's 445 grams of grapes. So I just have to look up how many calories that is. And then I have orange juice here. I have four servings of orange juice in this mason jar here. This is um, the Costco orange juice, organic orange juice. I like their orange juice better than Publix. I used to get at Publix, but this one tastes a lot better. Now, although it tastes better, it's still kind of sour. It's not, most orange juice, orange juices are not sweet, unfortunately. So you have to add sugar to it. Um, and that's what I do. I added five tablespoons of cane sugar to this and it makes it taste, oh, and that's why I have the spoon in here and why I'm mixing it up, but oh my gosh, it makes it taste so, so freaking good. So, um, this is bumped up to, well, this is 440 calories without the cane sugar. So I have to calculate all of that, see how much, um, it would be with the uh, five tablespoons of uh, cane sugar. So this is a pretty large lunch, really. I mean, honestly, this might be a thousand calories. I don't know, it might not be. It might be maybe only like 900, maybe 850, maybe. I'll calculate it up and I'll let you guys know, but I'm gonna get into my water. Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm in the car now. I don't have a stand for this camera, so I'm holding it. It looks very weird. But anyway, I just came from a tennis lesson. Um, well, I, I, I teach, hold on a second, let me turn this down. I had to turn the music down. I just taught a tennis lesson and it went pretty well. We almost went a full hour, but it's really cold. And I think it's like, maybe like 40 degrees, I don't know. But he did his best, he did his best. Um, and I'm freezing, my hands are like numb. I feel like I'm gonna drop the camera. But I did not finish my grapes completely. I still have some here with me in the car. If I can show you, this is what I have left. Yes, it's very um, raggedy to carry your grapes in a mixing bowl with no top on it. But um, sometimes I, I just didn't feel like putting it in a container or like a Ziploc bag. I just didn't feel like doing that. I was just like, you know what, let me just throw it in the, in the car and just, it'll be fine, it's in a bowl, it's fine, okay? So, I'm gonna try to finish the rest of these grapes. It's not that much left, really. It's like a, a handful about, maybe a little bit less than that. And, um, and then I'm gonna drink my water. I did finish my liter of water earlier, so I've had two liters of water today. And this is my third water, liter of water today, so I, I'm gonna try to get that in before I eat dinner. It's five o'clock. 5 p.m. and um, hmm, I hope I can get home in time to uh, not eat too late, not eat dinner too late. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get going home, and um, I'll talk to you guys when I get home. here it is this is my dinner sorry for the crappy lighting but this is my dinner I will list um, on the bottom of this uh, video the ingredients that I put in here I apologize I wasn't able to show you I was cooking it I didn't realize that the potatoes were cooked by the time I went up there I was expecting them to be like half done and then they were all of a sudden they were soft. I'm like, oh crap. So I threw an onion and the seasonings and uh, sugar. I put coconut sugar. I should have put more though, um, cause I don't really taste it too much, but this is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I just put in all just, you know, I tried to hurry up the dish. So I, and I forgot my camera downstairs. So, um, so yeah, so this is just the end product, but I will be sure to show you my, the process of my dinners. Uh, from now on, hopefully it always works out, but this is the end product, and I'm gonna dive into this. 
crappy angle again, my potatoes. This is, if I calculated it right, this is 760 grams of potatoes, which I think is around 600 calories. I don't know. I have a feeling I might be hungry after this, but um, if not, this will be the last thing. But if I'm still hungry, then I'll show you. Sorry, you can't see my face. I'll show you um, what I'll have after this. Um, it may be something sweet, but more than likely it's going to be something savory. Like rice with sugar or something like that, which, okay, that's... When I say savory, I mean dinner. Because my dinner is actually... It depends on what I have. Like, these potatoes are not insanely sweet, which is, I like it like that, but... I like having some sweetness to kind of give it a, a depth of flavor. Like, the coconut sugar adds, like, a really nice depth of flavor. Mm. Mm. There's something so comforting about fluffy, pillowy potatoes. Mm. So good. No calorie restriction here. Okay. So I ate all that food, all the potato, and now I am eating 310 calories worth of sushi rice. I mixed in some coconut sugar so that adds up the calories as well and I put in about two tablespoons of salsa. Um, it's fairly low sodium they don't label that but it's not too high in salt but that's what I'm gonna have. Very tasty. I feel kind of full but not really at the same time. I don't know. That's the beauty of eating high carb. You can eat as much as you want. No calorie restriction. And I'm sorry you can't see my face because the angle is just not working right now. Um, but yeah, this is a really good quick meal if you want to have like rice. Mix it with some coconut sugar or maybe even regular sugar if you want. And salsa, banging. Mmm, so good. Alrighty, I hope this lighting is okay. Um, but yes, that concludes my full day of eating. And I actually did pretty well today. I'm really proud of myself. Um, I've had well over 2,500 calories today. I will write down, like, I'll either put like my breakfast, lunch, dinner calories, and then the total down below on this clip or in the next clip, or I'll just put my total calories or whatever. But I like to let people know how many calories I'm eating because it is possible to be slim and eat infinite amount of carbohydrate calories. Keeping the fat and the protein low, that is the key. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to do more videos like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I really do. And also, make sure you're staying hydrated. Okay, please stay hydrated and I'll see you guys next time. My battery is dying. Okay. Bye